Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. We are honored to have back with us Eugene Munster, iconic at Piper Jaffray at Deepwater here on Tesla. Gene, you called it, which is a pause here to refresh. What's the character of the pause here for Tesla down 6% in this set of headlines? So it was a, it was a soft number. And so think about this as being um, sub, I was talking about being down 2% uh, to being flattish. But in this case, uh, we've got like a 40,000 unit miss relative to expectations. So it's, I would put this in the category of a surprising, borderline, unprecedented miss when it comes to deliveries. So, so Gene, what do you think yeah, is going on here if you had to read, read through? Um, I think it's a combination of what, what's happened with the uh, interest rates. I think just the, the broader EV market has slowed and Tesla being all EVs, I think has had a profound impact. There probably was over the last couple of years, a pull forward of demand mm-hmm. as kind of some of the excitement around EVs, maybe people uh, years out who maybe would have thought about buying a car once every five years, decided to get one at three years and kind of pulled some of that demand forward. So I think that uh, this is, I mean, it's pretty clear as EVs are in a slow period right now. And uh, this is worse than what I would have expected. Yep. And I think the question comes down to is, is this a temporary pause? Is it going to be two, three quarters or is it going to last longer? Hey, Gene, if Matt Miller were here, he would probably ask this question, which is, when does this, when does Tesla really need a redo on the design of the car? We need a new version. I mean, it seems like the odd big auto comes out with a new version every four, five, six years. We haven't had that from Tesla. Well, the Model Y is due for an update and we'll likely get one in the next year. The Model 3 just had one in the last couple months and that makes these numbers even, oh, even worse because you just had this update to Model 3. And so, yes, they do not do the the typical annual updates, but the vast majority, 90 plus percent of their sales right now are Model Y and Model 3. And so it is more susceptible to, uh, you know, these model changes. So I think that uh, I think the big picture is uh, around this is just relative to the appetite for EVs from consumers. And uh, we've seen it, especially in the U.S., that 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 has slowed. And so I think that that's having a bigger impact than any sort of revisions to the model. If you're just joining us around the world in Shanghai, where they manufacture Tesla's Gene Munster with us after disappointing uh, numbers, Tesla just breaches a 163 down 7% uh, here. Uh, Gene Munster, is there a stock price that Mr. Musk has his eye on? You know, I, I, I could get the chart up here right now, but Gene, is there an important stock price for you where things, the optionality for, for Elon Musk changes from 400, down we go to 175, now 162. How far down do the facts change for Elon Musk? So just in terms of valuation, where it's currently trading, the down 7%, it's, it's trading roughly 40 times 2025 earnings. And so if we want to put a point of where it's going to trade in line with, uh, let's say, NVIDIA, for example, or Microsoft, uh, you'd have to be right around $140. So still another mm. uh, 20 points of downside from here. Um, you know, so I think that there, it t- for I think a lot of investors, it's less about where the price goes. It's just more about waiting this out. And who knows how the psychology is going to weigh on shares in the near term. Gene, how do you think... Detroit is looking at this number in terms of how they're thinking about the EV market. Yeah. I, I think they're elated. I think that they're saying this is was a smart move that we've had by kind of pulling back on some of the investments. So I think uh, from Detroit, this is uh, today is a, a, a victory. And, um, you know, I don't like using war analogies in business but and, and right. this is this is a battle it's a war going on between gas and electric here and this is definitely a victory for right. for gas and i think that uh i think the, the the bigger picture is far from over price discipline here is so important are tesla unit sales down because lisa mateo really wants to buy one except the price has declined which means all the used Teslas out there right now have cratered. That's got to be a huge part behaviorally of this Gene Munster, right? 
I think so. I think that you know this the used market has, is showing some price declines. Maybe that's picking up a little bit. Um, I think the broader macro, the two biggest forces in play here are uh, the EVs are more expensive than traditional cars. Rates are high, and then separately, I think the excitement around yeah. EVs has slowed. I think those two are getting us to the numbers we're having. And Paul, that's exactly what you said in the break. I mean, I mean, you said here, the heart of the matter is EVs cost more. Yeah, they, they, they certainly do. Uh, Gene, any sense that, you know, when you, Elon Musk and company, they're just rethinking any of their short to intermediate term strategy here? I, I would be shocked. I think that they have a view about where the world is going and uh, they're playing towards that. And, would say that this is a speed bump. And I think that you know, if you just look at the numbers and look at the relative uh, stock reaction, the stock should be down more. Yep. And I think the reason why it's not is because I think there are investors who are in that camp. That's personally where I'm in the camp that I'm in is that I think that this is mm -hmm. ultimately going to be, uh, it's, a, it's a painful bump, but I think a bump in the road. Right. Gene, thank you yep, so thank much. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to feature Mr. Munster on our podcast, Single Best Idea, uh, today. He's with Deepwater Asset, twice there on Tesla yep, with this move. Thankful.